So I'm with Randy Lewis, who's one of the old dime prospector. I met him back in the 80s, 90s, and he's a wealth of information. He's agreed to share some with us. With us. But he's also started his own YouTube channel and got some great information on there. So you've got to go to his channel and see some of the, this stuff. But one of the things we're going to talk about today is the Utah, the Kerry Shinob, which is, uh, I'll let Randy explain it, but he's got a video given the exact GPS coordinates is where he's pinpointed from him talking to the old timers and what's going on. And so with that, Randy, um, tell us the story and how you came to the conclusions where you got your information and also how this ties in um, with Blind Frog Ranch. Any of them people that know about Blind Frog Ranch, um, take it away. Well, I used to spend a lot of time up around Paradise up in there and going over all the old uh, stories up there and uh, that's another story. But anyway, I used to stop in and see old uh, A.C. Wilkerson on my way up there and I used to stop in and say hi about every time I went up there I'd stop in and see old A.C. and uh, right, right when he was getting in his last years uh, we used to talk, we used to get serious about things and and uh, the reason he would talk to me is because he knew all the old history about Hassenbrook and stuff and he knew I was the great grandson and so he opened up to me about a lot of things about that area up there because of uh, who I was. And, but anyway, uh, I went up there talking to him one time and I says, you know, AC, not too far, but we were up there on his ranch and there was a place up on the first spring where he used to have a, where he used to do a lot of camping up in there in his later years and that's where I used to find him in his trailer down there by, the, by that spring. And, uh, anyway, I walked in there one time and we were talking and he says, I says, you know, Hey, see, you're, you're not too far from a Spanish mine where we're sitting right now. I says, if you look over to the south there or, or, and uh, look up, there's a road that goes up there and it goes right down into a, an old Spanish mine right there. And he says, how did you know about that? And I says, well, uh, it's on one of the old maps I have and I figured you already knew where it was because you've lived here most of your life. And, he says, yeah, we've done really well out of that old mine. And I says, yeah, I bet you have. And he says, uh, but in the last years, he says, I was able to do a lot more uh, research and decided that the old Kerry Shinob is not too far from here. And I says, yeah, I, I figured that about right. I said, I've, I've looked at the old Aaron Daniels map quite a bit and uh, studied it and uh, and I'm thinking if I start talking to you about it, you'll know exactly where I'm at because you've walked it. So most of the time when you know things is because you've walked it and you know every rock on the way there. And I said, uh, if, you, if you go up past this spring and go up past the next spring and then you get to the bottom of that real steep, steep mountain right there and go straight up that mountain, right to the top of the ridge you'll be on the exact same trail as old Aaron Daniels was taken back when he was taken there by the Indians and he says that's exactly right and I says well if you get along the top of that ridge and you start going towards the I get the west there and keep going on the top of that ridge and go all the way to the other side you'll be walking on the same trail as old Aaron Daniels was on, on, on that, on, when he was on the back of that horse. And I said, if you, if you look at that, you can see everything on that old map is right there, right where we're walking on the top of that ridge. And he says, yeah, you're exactly right. And I says, you can look from that ridge over to the White Cliffs and you can see up over into Spring Creek and and you can see where the old cedars were and you can see where the old where the old gold nuggets used to be and then you can see down in the bottom where those two uh, ridges run and then you can see right where that where the old Kerry Shinob used to be and I says yeah, that's exactly right AC that's the same way I see it and he says you're right that's the where it is and 
said I've never had gone down in there and opened that up because I think it'd be real hard to find but he says that's exactly where it's at and so anyway with that uh, old AC and I determined that was probably where the carry knob was and that if you look at the map and go through all the details you can see that it matches everything old Aaron Daniels said right to the T and so anyway uh, I've got that video on my uh, on my website and you can follow the trail and see everything and and you can look at the, uh, the geology of it and you can see why it's there and that that I'm thinking if you get down lower towards the Blind Frog Ranch, you can see why they're really excited about that area because it's right on the outskirts of all that volcanic activity back then, and uh, and, and there you'll probably see see some of the things that they're seeing and know why it's there. But uh, if you look at the geology and see how the old volcanic went up through there and pushed up the the batholiths and all that kind of stuff, you'll see why that the why they're finding stuff down in Blind Frog Ranch. I'm not too familiar with Blind Frog Ranch. I've never been there, but I know it's real close to where all of the activity is. So for those that don't know what the Kerry Shinab is, tell tell me, tell these guys what, what's supposed to be in the Kerry Shinab, what is the Kerry Shinab? Uh, Give me a little uh, information on that. Okay, well, to be really honest, I don't know what's in the Kerry Shinob. I've read the stories, but I can't really back that up with facts because I, I don't know what's in the Kerry Shinob, and I, I don't want to, you know, talk about things that I'm not sure of. I only, I only like to relate the facts and what I do know. But uh, there are stories that it used to be a, a sacred mine up in that area, and uh, the Indians guarded it really well. And I really don't know what's in that Kerry Shinaw. But I mean, I wish I did, but all I've heard stories like everybody else, and uh, it's supposed to be one of the sacred mines, and it was revealed to Aaron Daniels, and in in his story he kind of tells what it was, but. I don't know for sure, so I can't say. Real quick, tell me how these people find you on Facebook, find you on your YouTube channel. <clears throat> well, you could probably just uh, look up Randy William Lewis on uh, Facebook, and then uh, from there you'll see all the the videos that I've made. That's right on my uh, Facebook page, and uh, and if if you go to YouTube, you could just look at capital R W L media and that's the name of my channel and uh, I'll be putting a lot more videos up there it's just I've been really busy for a while and uh, when things slow down you know then I'll start making some videos again I have I have 50 years of information to put out there and uh, and what I put out there I only put out facts and the, things that I know are true and uh, I, I don't, uh, a lot of times people write books and they're right in the middle of trying to find stuff themselves and so they'll throw a little bit of a curve to your maps and the things they say because they're still looking for it and uh, they don't want a lot of competition so they'll, uh, they don't give the facts but uh, I'm getting in my later years and I'm not going to be going up in these places anymore and so I'm going to give you the, the facts as I know them but I can tell you one thing every year that goes by all of the uh, all the symbols and all of the things that we used to see when 30 40 years ago aren't they're there all anymore they're and, all the, gone, yeah. and their forest fires have burned them up and Mine beetle, beetle killed the trees yeah and, and, it, all gone. and uh, it's, it's sad to see all this history disappearing right before our eyes and the worst part of it the whole thing is when people find these things they destroy them and uh, that really bothers me because this stuff, and I, I, it just really bothers me to see 
these things destroyed. I've seen a lot of stuff at Moon Lake has been destroyed up there and it's been there for over a hundred years and then all of a sudden people are ruining it because they're they're digging under symbols and stuff that are, are just plain symbols. It's just like you're going down the road and you see a road sign and, and that's all these symbols are is road signs and if you can't you take and dig under all the road signs and ruin them all you ruin everything and uh, and I've been working probably for the last 15 years out on the desert because basically it, I don't have to climb 10,000 feet to get to places. It's more level out there and, uh, and uh, things out there haven't been destroyed. In fact, I wrote a book that I spent uh, probably 15 years writing and, and all this stuff out there has Spanish stuff that's never been touched and and uh, the reason I didn't write, publish the book is I don't want all this stuff destroyed and people just don't have the respect to keep things the way they are you look at it and you don't touch yep. and that's just the way it is uh, it's hard to tell people things and then have it destroyed it really uh, I agree with that 100 percent and that and that's sad but that's the way it is and so people you know like you when they find something you don't tell people where it's at now, let me grab that book real quick and I'll show this some of this book Now I get a lot of people saying, well, Randy, why don't you write a book about things you find? Why, why are you keeping all this stuff? And the, and the reason I, I, I wrote this book, and uh, I spent 15 years writing this book, and I just don't want this stuff destroyed. And uh, there's things out there that... Uh, we just don't want destroyed and it, it's in really it's really hurts to see people go out and and find stuff and ruin it and it, so anyway I'm just gonna I don't even know what I'd even sell that book for because it, it it's mostly it cost a fortune because it's full of color pictures and, and those are a little bit hard to publish no. But uh, well, with all that said, Randy, man, I just want to thank you for do for what you are sharing on your YouTube videos and that because you got some great information along with some GPS coordinates in them, you know. And and uh, thank you for sharing that. And with with that said, man, go go out and check out Randy's YouTube channel, his his uh, his Facebook page, and that's a wrap, Randy. And thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome, Terry. It's been really. Uh, fun to have you as a friend all these years and uh, and uh, I know you've had a lot of years trying to get me to do this interview and I just wouldn't do I it. I have and you and wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad man you finally decided man to, to, to do something so thank you and that's a wrap.